hello beautiful people today I want to talk to you guys about how getting in touch with my feminine side has helped me in eating disorder recovery so before my eating disorder I was really in touch with who I was and I talk about this a lot on my channel that before I got into modeling I was really in touch with who I was as a human I loved I knew what I loved to do I was really confident with myself and I expressed myself in every way and I was really happy before my eating disorder came along. And then during my eating disorder, I lost a lot of myself. I stopped doing things I like to do. I stopped getting dressed up. I stopped keeping up with things I like to do. I never got ready. I was always in workout clothes. I was always focused on what I was eating and my life revolved around fitness and how I looked and never how I felt internally. That was never the question. I was so preoccupied with keeping my physique a certain way and making meals, making stuff for me to eat that I didn't have time for anything else in my life. And I also started comparing myself to other women during this time. I really stopped seeing my own traits as beautiful and seeing other women's traits as also beautiful but different. And I just started comparing the two like, oh, I look this way, she looks this way, she's better than me. Like, I couldn't see anyone as my equal or as my friend or as like just a beautiful woman. I saw them as competition and as better or just you know someone I had to be worried about like a threat almost and I feel like that's a really common when you're going through an eating disorder to not love yourself to the point where you are comparing yourself to other humans to other women to others people's beauty we are all so beautiful in such different ways and our bodies are art and there's no way to be beautiful no way to be right or wrong in your physical form it is Art. It is unique. It is beautiful. You are beautiful and I really want you guys to take that away from each one of my videos But I really want to talk to you guys about getting in touch with your feminine side and how that helped me so much in my recovery and Just in gaining confidence within myself. I feel like when you get back in touch with your feminine side that side of you that is loving and caring and compassionate and also confident and just whole within itself. You start loving yourself and everyone and everything more because you're just in touch with that mothering side of you, you know, that side that is just caring and full of love and just compassion and like gentle. Like the feminine energy is more creative and gentle where the masculine energy is more hard and fierce and tactical in a way and the feminine energy is just more loose and wild and creative and I feel like within the two energies you can take whatever you want from them and for me being in touch with the feminine side of me is really grounding and connecting to who I am uh, to like my soul my core energy I feel like it's very feminine and I know that not every woman is super feminine and you don't have to be but if you can reconnect with that side of you, I feel like it is very helpful when you are recovering from an eating disorder in general and just trying to build up your confidence and trying to find self-love. So being creative was a big part of me reconnecting to my feminine energy. I started painting again, I started writing again, I started getting into fashion and I love this. I love expressing myself in these ways. And however you are creative, whatever sparks that light, that joy with inside of you, whatever that is for you, do it. Spend time doing it. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be anything, anything that gets you creative. Allow yourself to delve into that because when you start honoring what you love and you let yourself be yourself, you will naturally develop that feminine side of you, that side of you that is creative and wild. And surround yourself with things that make you feel good. Like I love having my Virgin Mary candle, my rose, my plants, all of these things make me feel alive and I really feel like it brings out that feminine nature inside of me, that caringness, that wanting to take care of myself and other things. And I feel like that is such a big part of eating disorder recovery because during your eating disorder, you're not worried about your health or you as a human. You're not worried about the other people around you. You're so focused on your appearance or on your calories or working out, whatever it is that your attention is completely on. It is not on caring for yourself 
and caring for others and just being a loving person that is not really on your mind at all so when you can tap back into that side of you that loving caring nature it literally pulls you out of your eating disorder you fall in love with that side of yourself and you don't want to go back to the eating disorder habits. And when you're just loving more in general, you're loving life more, you're loving the things around you, you're loving yourself in return and you don't want to harm yourself anymore. You don't want to go back into your eating disorder habits because you are yourself again. You're feeling yourself. You're loving yourself. You're loving your life. And like I said, I feel like feminine energy is different for everyone and you can pull whatever parts of it you love and make that part of your reality. You don't have to do it, you know, like all pink, everything. You don't have to hate men. You don't have to block men out of your life. Nothing like that. You just have to reconnect with that part of yourself that loves and cares and creates. Another thing that has really helped me connect to that feminine energy inside of me is doing yoga. I love doing yoga and I'm developing my own style within my practice where I feel like I'm dancing almost. I'm moving my body in ways that inspire me and that make me feel confident and beautiful. And whatever activity that is for you, you should do it. I also like doing Pilates because it kind of brings out that same feminine fire inside of me. But like, if you like lifting weights and that makes you feel empowered and and really like in love with who you are, then you should lift weights. There's no right or wrong way to move your body. There's no right or wrong way to channel that feminine energy, but whatever that is for you, do it. Allow yourself to express yourself. I also feel like another thing that helps me be in touch with my feminine side is just that I always express how I'm feeling. I'm emotional. I talk about this a lot in my other videos as well. It's like I am a really emotional human and I'm not afraid to cry when I feel like crying or scream with joy when I'm just like so excited. I don't hide my emotions at all and I feel like when I'm really like you know in touch with what I'm feeling and who I am it allows my emotions to pass through me easier like I'm not just stuck on this anger this feeling of anger this feeling of sadness I'm really able to just like go with the flow more and when you're I feel like being in touch with your emotions in that sense and just allowing yourself to be soft when you need to be soft that is all a part of your feminine energy and allowing yourself to express yourself is a really helpful in your recovery and in finding your self love and your confidence just being able to express your emotions whenever you're feeling them allowing yourself to be yourself is so helpful you don't have to hide how you're feeling whatever emotions you're feeling at any given time are valid because that's how you're feeling just experience it let it come in and let it go out when you try to devaluate your feelings like you're like oh I shouldn't be mad right now I shouldn't be sad right now you're hindering yourself, you're hurting yourself. Just feel what you are feeling and let it go because it is valid. They are your emotions and your emotions are telling you something. They're letting you know how connected to your true self you are. When you're sad, you're not connected to your happiness. You're not connected to your true self. But if you try to just block out the sadness, it's gonna take you longer to get reconnected with who you are. If you just feel the sadness and then let it go, you'll return to who you are. Another thing that has really helped connect me to my feminine energy is allowing myself to be a child. Honoring the little girl inside of me. Because she is still there. She never left. I still love fairies and butterflies and playing outside and dancing and making cookies. Things I like to do when I was a little girl, I love to do now. I like to make cinnamon sugar toast, which is something I did with my grandma, my great grandma actually. and. I like to play dress up, I like to walk barefoot, I like to play with my dog, I like to do all these things that my inner child still wants to do. You are never too old to honor your inner child. I feel like the feminine energy is so playful and just fun and honor that. Let yourself have fun. Life doesn't have to be so serious and that is something I am learning more and more. Um, once I develop my eating disorder, obviously that's a real serious thing. You're real scheduled. You have to do these things. You build roles for yourself and everything is so serious. And as I am finding myself again, I'm tapping back into my feminine energy. I am realizing that life is fun. It's not serious. It's not anything that has to be taken so seriously. 
And I'm also letting myself rest. Rest, rest, rest. We, in this crazy world we live in, we don't take time to let ourselves rest. Just let ourselves sit. Let ourselves be without having something to do, without having to check your emails or work overtime or make more money. Like we're so obsessed with this go, go, go life. But we need to make time for ourselves to just watch TV, like do something restful. You don't have to be so high strung all the time. And that is something that has helped me so much. Like I said, the eating disorder mentality is just so go, go, go. But once you slow down and you allow yourself to rest and just be still for a little while, you will reconnect to who you are. You're gonna reconnect to that energy. The feminine energy is whatever you want it to, whatever. I hope this video could speak to you. I hope it could inspire you to let your little inner feminine goddess, lioness roar and express herself and be full of love and confidence and just whole within yourself. I hope obviously that all my videos inspire that with you, but I was really inspired to talk about this today because I realized how much getting in touch with my inner feminine goddess has helped me. I feel like the more I meditate and take time to do yoga and just sit with myself, the more connected and rooted to my inner feminine goddess I become. So I really challenge you to find that within yourself. Leave a comment down below letting me know what you're gonna do to channel your inner feminine goddess. I really want you to challenge yourself and take time to do something you want to do, something that makes you feel good, something that makes you feel empowered and loving and caring and just yourself. Thank you for watching my video and supporting my channel. I hope you liked this video. Definitely let me know what you think about this down below. And do something to love yourself today. Do something to take care of yourself today and every day. I love you so much and I'll see you very soon.